crafty friends, it's Sharon Lusky here from My Crafty Greetings. We are on the hop today, so there's going to be a link below for the next person on the hop. And it is a collaboration hop between Pear Blossom Press and Scrappy Tails. And Pear Blossom Press does these awesome lights. And you can win a gift card to either Pear Blossom Press or Scrappy Tails by leaving a comment below. How cool the lights are is a great comment. And uh, so simple to use too. Very, very neat. I'm going to be using the A7 pop-up lantern today. So I've got a couple pieces cut, uh, one in heavyweight cardstock in black, and then another one in glossy cardstock, which is also fairly heavyweight too, but we're putting these together to make sure that they're nice and thick and strong. Now I'm gonna be cutting the tab off here, and then I'm also gonna be splitting these, and if you notice, they're two and a half inches wide, so if you line it up to two and a half inches, you're gonna get shapes that are gonna match. We're also gonna be putting them upside down orientation to what the lantern would be. So I've got a piece of paper here. It's five and three eighths by two and a half inches wide. And we're gonna use this as a foundation or the backer for this little light up uh, Christmas, Christmas tag slash keepsake ornament. <laughs> so I was trying to come up with something cool for this hop. I really wanted to do something that was a little bit wow because I was so excited to be included in this hop. And uh, there's so many really, really talented people that are gonna be um, on the hop today. Anyways, I put this little tab on the bottom and we're just gonna be gluing it along to the very bottom below that opening so that we have a little covering for our light mechanism. And I'm just gonna rub that little extra piece of tape off there. Now I've got a Lantern Basics um, add-on piece here, basic shape add-on piece. I'm just putting a little bit of Tombow Mono Multi around the edge, just the outside edge, because that's all it's gonna grab the window with. And we're gonna let that dry. That way there's no oozy goopies coming out. I'm putting some strong tape on the back of my light unit. How simple is that? Could you not make a bunch of keychains? with these two where you get a little light if you need it that'd be fun so I'm gonna peel that off and I'm gonna actually stick it so that the light is shooting towards the back of our little tag here so when you push the button the lights gonna shine against the inside now we need a hanger since it's going to be an ornament and we're going to take uh, some good strong tape here and run a few pieces so that we can use some either ribbon or string. I've chosen some ribbon here. And then you're also gonna put another really strong piece of tape over top of that. Whatever the strongest kind of sticking thing is that you have. Okay, I've got a piece of shattered glass holographic paper. It's two and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches wide. A little bit smaller than the base we're adhering it to, so we leave a margin that it's not sticking out. And we also wanted it to catch that light so that the light actually shines onto it, just like this. We're also gonna be putting on our uh, decorative piece here, the basic shape panel. I'll give that a good firm squeeze so it sticks. And then I need to add a double thick layer of foam tape. So that's one foam tape piece on top of the other. And in another video, I'll show you a tip and trick on how to cut these for yourself. I actually did myself a few more of these tags that I'll show you at the end of this video, but I'll also have a video with more tips and tricks for this. Now, that looks messy on the sides, and I decided that I decided I needed to fix that with some of my little strips that I cut uh, that already have tape adhered to them before I cut them. So they're thin and they're sticky and these I can wrap all the way around and stick them right to the side of the foam tape and that's gonna finish this off much more nicely because if it's a keepsake, it should look perfect, right? It should be something that doesn't matter which angle you look at it from, it looks beautiful and that'll make the recipient want to actually keep this. I'm sure there's some stuff that my mom kept that I made from school that we put on our Christmas tree too that was not as nice as this, but I would hope that as adults, us giving these things away, we would have something looking as nice as possible. So this would also be a great trick if you're doing shaker cards and you have to piece uh, pieces of foam tape together. You can always wrap that. And like I said, video 2.0 will be coming out for uh, tags that light up and shake and we'll get into a bunch of foam cutting tricks and things along with that so of course this is my most feared part of tag making is taking off all the backers to that foam tape <laughs> but I find if you pick these up and you hold them together like playing cards it's much easier to line them up and once they're stuck down and stuck together 
There we have our lit up tag unit with the place on the back for the message and the front's gonna light up and look all cool and it looks great from the sides. Now we need a decoration. Now I wanted to make a point, you can add anything you want to your light up tags. I'm gonna be using the layering cardinals. You'd also have put acetate through the back to hold these things onto the tag uh, that will allow the light to still shine up the back. I'm using a little piece of the Forest Trees cover plate as well as a little greenery uh, from the assorted leaves, uh, assorted Christmas leaves die set. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this little birdie stuck on here. And basically what I do is pinch it into place and put the glue behind. And the whole reason I did that was the little birdie foot has a claw that hooks around the branch that makes it look even more integrated and detailed. I'm also putting some more of my Tombow Mono Multi here. I've let this dry so there will be no squishing and it will grab where it needs to grab but because it's held up it's not going to stick to anything else. The one thing I do want to do though is shove my scissors in here and just kind of push uh, those pieces together so that they are well adhered. So let's give that light a little push. Bing, bing, bing. Isn't that so cool? I was so excited about this. Of course I made a holiday panel add-on um, tags here and this one has a secret panel for where you can put your message so they can hang it on the Christmas tree and flip it open to see the message when they want to but not worry about it otherwise and I used rhinestones for this just these kinds of rhinestones that came from Michael's gosh do we say that and here's another one with a Christmas tree and I actually filled the interior of this uh, with those kind of straw confettis and <laughs> put a nice big ribbon on it that feeds through the top of the festive lantern add-on these tube confettis. So here is how they would look on a gift. I thought maybe you like to see my gift designing skills and what I think would look cool as a gift and how it looks lit up. I do hope you enjoyed uh, coming and seeing me today on this video and that you'll hop along and check out all the other participants. Don't forget to leave a comment to win. Give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? You're going to miss out on all kinds of weird and crazy fun things that I do. If you enjoyed these uh, gift wrapping ideas or any of these tags, if there's anything that you'd like to see more of, please let me know in the comments. And thanks so much for joining me today. Hopefully I've inspired you to get into your craft room and make some really cool and different things for your family and friends, or maybe just even for your own house and your own satisfaction and your own home decor. Happy crafting and have an awesome day. Thanks. Bye.